Hey guys, good morning. Um, sorry for the absence lately vlogging. I heard just posting videos in general. I've been so busy. I've just been doing odd jobs and whatnot. And what I'm doing this week is I got contracted to demolish these two old trailer homes. And so this was the side of one of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're about finishing up. I did get some shots with the drone, so I'll make sure to show those. But uh, it's been fun. I think I've just been learning a lot. Uh, you know, thank God um, I've been getting these jobs. And I think I got another demolition job lined up. I don't know how. Honestly, it's just a miracle because uh, I had no clue what I was going to do this summer. And, you know, turns out I'm learning a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm filling up the backhoe right now. Uh, I haven't been running that. I got my cousin doing it. Um, yeah, I just kind of hired some family members to help me out here, but anyways, this uh, place is like 50 miles from home, but that's nothing when you're in the Panhandle. It's a little really quick drive, but really crazy stuff been going on. We started a fire, um, you can see that. Uh, we were trying to cut the frame and did something very stupid because it's been hot, it's been dry, it's been windy, not a good combination with the torch, so lesson learned. Um, Huge, huge shout out to Daniel for uh, basically letting me have uh, have this for the summer. This is DJI Phantom 4. Um, I love this thing, it's amazing. I was just thinking I needed to get me one of these and then he had to leave for summer classes and was like, hey, I'm not gonna need this, I can't use it over there, so you can uh, you can have it for the, till, I, till I need it again. So yeah, I've been having fun with it. Uh, been trying to make more more videos and stuff but obviously that hasn't been working but I I've just been so overwhelmed I'll, you know I've had no desire to make videos but like I just realized yesterday after editing the one with my level I, I really need to get back on this game so we'll get back to it all right you guys let's get in on this And time for some takeoff. Alright, alright. I've been getting better at piloting this thing, that's for sure. Yeah, so this is a site as of like day three. Um, it's looking good, I mean. Uh, the sucky thing is we've been having... We didn't want to use the container, so basically there's these big old roll-off containers that you can rent, um, and then you'll fill them up, and uh, this company will come and take them off for you, and they'll either charge you per load or per ton. Usually they'll charge you per uh, mount versus a certain after a certain uh, weight, but we wanted to save as much money as possible for our customer and for ourselves, obviously, so we could get paid more. So we decided to just use my cousin's dump trailer, which um, I'll get I'll get a video of him when he comes in with it. And so, uh, right, and we were gonna run a backhoe as well, but you know, my dad knew someone who works, um, Nick Thomas, if you guys are needing uh, concrete work or any sort of dirt gravel work done uh, here in the Panhandle around Canadian or wherever you might be. Um, well, he let us borrow this backhoe. Uh, that has saved us a lot of money. Um, I told him to charge us. I don't know how much it's gonna come out to. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. Uh, but I don't know. My, my uncle's running the backhoe right now. He's it got over it overheated uh, sun, Saturday when we were here. So put some more coolant in it and so some antifreeze. So maybe it'll uh, warm up now. And then so over here we have this trailer. Uh, this is my dad's <laughs> crappy little. Uh, trailer that we literally just use for everything. Uh, we filled it up with aluminum. Um, the first day we were out here, we took a little load of, um, of scrap metal. It was way too windy to do anything, so we just took off the paneling. Uh, the houses had a, um, the houses had, the siding on the houses was aluminum. And so we are like, hey, we might be able to get some money for that scrap metal. And so, um, but obviously we didn't know how much it would be. So what we did, I don't know if, it, yeah, I think you can still see it there. The scraps, I uh, don't want to hit a tree. But yeah, that's a, let's see if I'm focused on it. Anyways, that's aluminum. And so, um, 
We filled up my bed, which is not very big. It's not even six feet long. And then especially since I had it closed. So we filled that up completely with aluminum with from the windows, um, a little bit of copper that I pulled out of the house from the water lines, and then the aluminum from, right, the siding. And okay, if we get like more than 10 bucks and it might be worth it to take the rest of it off. So we got $18 and I'm like, hey, this might be a good idea. So before we even started demoing with the, with the backhoe that morning before it got here, we just took off all the paneling as much as we could. We couldn't take off right here because of the trees, but um, we're hopefully getting at least $100. Um, I think realistically we'll probably get like 150. Oh, and we found a ton of copper. So yeah, if you're doing these jobs, um, you'll probably find some copper if they're before, I think this trailer was in 1974. So that year for sure, before that, uh, the one that he's working on right now, that one's actually, I think like a 78, it's a little bit newer and it has all plastic lines. So um, yeah, you do have to go pretty old to find those metals and they pay a lot. And right now the economy is bad for, you know, scrapping. And even then, there are, they're still paying us $1.50 for uh, number one copper, which is basically copper that's not attached to anything. Um, uh, copper that's, you know, you break off all of the, all the brass and um, cast uh, fittings. And so, yeah, um, that's, what, that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to maneuver this thing. <laughs> so, I need to turn down the sensitivity. But, uh, yeah, what else was I saying? So that's what we're doing with that trailer. We're filling it up with all the scrap metal. Oh, right, and I didn't even talk about the fire. So, <laughs> right over here, um, this is basically the remnant of the frame of the first trailer, um, right here. And you can see the axles and the, the wheels. Uh, yeah, so our bright idea was to, I asked Samuel to bring out his uh, cutting torch, his oxy fuel, and I was like, hey, we can cut it. And funny enough, like I asked him before he showed up, way like five, six hours before he showed up, you got any ideas for how to prevent a wildfire? And uh, he was like, just be smart and don't be stupid. I'm like, okay, fair enough. So he gets here and I'm like, hey man, I'm serious. If you think this is too much of a risk, like don't even do it, like I'm pretty worried. Like we had a red flag warning that day, which basically means uh, you know, in a big city or on the coast, wherever you're at, you'll get a warning for like hurricanes or um, tornadoes, I don't know, thunderstorms. Well, here we'll, we'll mostly get thunderstorm, tornadoes, and red flag warnings. And red flag warnings basically are um, describing for the right conditions for a wildfire. So I'm sure it probably happens in like California and other mountainy regions where there's wildfires. But um, yeah. It, it, We've just had really low relative humidity and um, it's not been helpful for, for our firefighters. I mean, it's, it creates dangerous conditions and um, yeah, we just weren't very smart with that. So, you know, thank God the fire went out just miraculously. Like, honestly, thank God, because look at this right here. Um, when we finally realized it was just going down the fence line, uh, we came over here and um, started to make a little break right there. I'm sure you can probably see it right there. Uh, there's a little, a little break in the, in the grass right there. And we made that so it wouldn't hop over that spot. But if you look right here, like it, it, it just stopped right there. So, um, you know, if it had kept going, it would have hopefully stopped right there, but by God, it just stopped right there. I don't even know why. Um, and so, yeah, thank God we got it out. Um, cause, and then thank God the wind was going that way too because had it have been going the other way, we'd have had, look at this field over here. We'd have had all this probably on fire. And, uh, you know, and the firefighters were so nice too. That's another thing. I really need to make a video on just how nice the authorities have been. Always, 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 way too helpful. You know, they didn't even rebuke us for using a torch or anything. Uh, they, they, you know, they weren't even angry at us for being stupid teenagers. All, like literally, we were almost probably lighting that on fire on purpose. It would have looked like with how stupid and idiotic what we were doing was. So, thank God they were very nice. Um, and yeah, I'll make a video thanking them later. They wouldn't even take a donation. That's how that's how kind they were. Um, 
And, and these are volunteer guys. These are volunteer guys. You know, up here in the rural communities, our firefighters, uh, they usually don't get paid. They don't have a salary. Um, probably like in the bigger towns and cities, but uh, like out here, the, the, the nearest community is, there's 10 miles that way. There's a town of right under 2,000 people. And about 10 miles, not even that way, there's another little community with, I don't know, less than 50 people in it. And that's, that's the fire department that we had to come out. It's a little volunteer fire department. And we had two trucks out here nicest people ever I mean it like they're yeah I, I really got to make a video thanking them but yeah guys this is what I've been doing um, if you're uh, trying to demo a trailer I would say uh, it, it okay here's the thing if it's packed full with stuff it's gonna cost you more and it's gonna take more time um, if it's empty go for it like take the job rent a backhoe get a container charge them charge them for it and do the math I don't know what your numbers are there but for us we've been having to drive 30 minutes to the dump 30 minutes back we have like a uh, five six yard dump trailer and that's been making all the difference I wouldn't do it without a dump trailer or without a container so um, yeah guys uh, a lot of stuff going on right now uh, I got another job lined up for doing demo it'll be a uh, um, an actual house and this will be in the city so I have to go get a permit and have to um, uh, do the numbers again and see if uh, see if I need to do it but yeah thanks guys um, I appreciate y'all holding on despite me not making any videos